I, Ros Vita of Gandesha, am holding my peace and resting in a suitable place. Ros Vita is a solitary female pygmy goat living in a garden in rural Oxfordshire, while Ros Vita of Gandersheim is actually a medieval nun. Being a biologist, I'm really fascinated by this particular goat's unique behaviour. Like her namesake, she has an unusual interest in sex. I have been compelled to apply my mind to the dreadful frenzy of those possessed by unlawful love and the insidious sweetness of passion. The original Ross Beater was the very first female playwright. Eleven centuries ago, she was a nun who wrote about sex. Things which should not even be named among us. Rosvita didn't approve of sex, but she was fascinated by it. Several of her plays feature three holy virgins whose virtues are at risk. Meet sisters Agape, Irina and Caionia. In their play, a local official in a frenzy of lust makes love to his kitchen pots and pans. Like this deluded man, our goat also has displaced sexual behaviour, but in her case, she fancies these hens, actors in our medieval comedy. What's that noise? Look, he must be out of his senses. Mm. I think he believes he's kissing us. Mm. He presses the saucepans tenderly to his breast. Now the kettles and frying pans. He is kissing the Lord. Either possessed of the devil or the devil himself. Goats existed as herds seven million years ago in wild, mountainous places. Now, confined among hens, our goat is queen of the roost. She exhibits dominant male behaviour. What she's actually doing is warning me to back off because she thinks I'm a rival. Where has Agape gone? Billy goats test if a nanny is ready to mate by analysing hormones with a special sense organ in the mouth. Bizarrely, our goat tracks the hens this way if they escape the coop. Yet, she doesn't like it when they go off to lay eggs. She, uh, she follows them along. She tells them what to do. Rosvita has fixed in her genes all of the right behaviour patterns, but she sometimes doesn't know what to do with them. It's in spring that confusion really sets in. Ross is now in Eastress. This is when she's ready to mate and she's showing male courtship behaviour. What's that noise? She must be out of her senses. I think she believes she's kissing her. Confused by the lack of a billy goat, she thinks she has to make all the moves. The chicken accepts because the pressure on her back is like the treading of a cockerel during copulation. She wants it, but she ain't getting it. It looks pretty mean, but actually, it's just wild spring hormones running out of control. With summer, peace returns. Confined within their communities, both Ross Vitas have had to express themselves with whatever political means they had. The nun used sex to praise virtue. If I had refrained from treating these subjects, I should not have been able to attain my object, to glorify the innocent to the best of my ability. Domestication has stolen Rosvita from her herd, but hasn't entirely taken the wild out of her. She has made a herd of her hens and a wilderness of this garden. Life is sweet, if a little frustrating. Perhaps next year, we'll get her a billy goat. Thank you.